East Vale is a, a new community. I don't know any other way of saying it other than it is a, a, a brand new community. Um, it's pretty affluent. It's like kind of this pocket of uh, you know recent development. George Spiliotis, I'm the Executive Officer of the Riverside Local Agency Formation Commission. My name is Shahari Arkaschi and I'm the Project Coordinator of Warehouse Workers United. The 2010 census figures will probably show a population of around uh, 40, probably 42,000, somewhere around there. Whoa. So in a period of 10 years, you, you added almost 40,000 people, oh. which is absolutely wow. phenomenal growth. And sales tax is the primary place where you get um, real r revenue. So they have the Eastville Gateway, which is a big retail center there. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the big mother load, right? That's where they get their money. The only thing that is really a net benefit in which you really need to have in order to incorporate a new city is retail commercial. <laughs> Mira Loma specifically is an area with a lot of empty dirt, but it's also an area that's not incorporated. It's not a city. It's also the, you know, the, the heart of the, the warehouse district. A lot of times uh, people will just not vote for incorporation during uncertain economic times. A lot of the small businesses are barely hanging on, um, and it's because folks, consumers don't have any money. The, the community is just barely hanging on to pay their rent. The biggest industry in this region is warehousing. Uh, industrial and warehouse uh, land uses are pretty revenue neutral. Okay. They're not big money makers, they're not a big drain, they don't require a high level of services, but they don't, um, with some exceptions, they don't provide uh, a whole lot of revenue. And so there's uh, basically a system where the county supervisors were able to put a lot of this warehouse development in this region that had traditionally been kind of working class um, semi-rural community. It's not a very densely populated area, it's also an area without a lot of political power. And so by building these warehouses in this area, they get away from the NIMBY factor of why are all these trucks running through my community, what, through my neighborhood, among the people who are more powerful in, in the city of Riverside and in more affluent parts of, of the county. LAFCO has approved the incorporation. Uh, the next step, and, and the Board of Supervisors has now called the election as they are required to do, uh, and that'll be March 8th, I believe, of 2011, okay. and it'll be up to the voters. Um, I think it, if they felt that fiscally uh, the city could not make it, um, because there were some questions there. Neither one of those cities, the fiscal analyses were really kind of on the edge. 